Student Resource and Access Center. An overview of what we'll be discussing today is what is read and write, benefits as a student, reading and writing tools. We'll look at tutorials. We'll talk about how to obtain the read and write software. And lastly, a Q&A session. Read and write is a software toolbar that helps students create and access content with the literary see support features and needed to engage with a personalized learning experience, helping every member of the class meet their full potential. The benefits for students is it supports English language learners, dramatically influence fluency and confidence, gain motivation and support. It creates content that is more accessible and inclusive. The first tool we'll talk about is text to speech. The second one is text and picture dictionaries. The third one is talk and type. And then the last one is called check it. Text to speech reads words, passages, or whole documents aloud with easy to follow dual color highlighting. Let's watch. This video shows how Read and Write for Google Chrome can be used to read text aloud. To use text to speech in a Google Doc, just place your cursor where you want to start reading and click the play button. Most of the energy we use today comes from fossil fuels such as gas, oil, and coal. However, these fossil Read and Write uses dual color highlighting, which helps improve comprehension. You can choose from a variety of voices by going to the options menu and clicking on the Voices dropdown. If you're reading content in another language, you can even choose from a selection of international voices as well. You can also adjust the reading speed and turn continuous reading on or off. This controls whether Read and Write will only read the text you've selected or read through your whole document. Read text on the web Use hover speech to simply hover over some text with your cursor. The unique geography of the Arctic leads to unique weather patterns that reappear in the region year after year. The map of sea level pressure for October 1st to 30. You can also highlight a selection and click the play button. Keep in mind that if you encounter inaccessible text, you'll need to use the screenshot reader for that. You can also use text to speech in Google Slides, Google Forms, and more. To learn more about Read and Write for Google Chrome, visit texthelp.com. The next feature is text and picture dictionaries, which provides definitions and displays images to help with word comprehension. Let's watch. Dictionary. To quickly find the meaning for a word, select it, and this little pop-up dictionary will appear with a short definition. To close the pop-up dictionary, click here. You can select another word, and the pop-up dictionary will appear again with a new definition. If you click on more within the pop-up dictionary, Google will open with the definition here. Alternatively, you can look up a word in the main dictionary by selecting it and then clicking on the dictionary. This is the definition from the basic dictionary. If you want the definition read to you, you can either select the text and click play. One, the planet that we live on Earth is very pretty from space. 
or if you have read the web switched on, just hover over the definition. To see definitions from the Advanced Dictionary, use this button. You will get more definitions for the word. At the bottom of this panel, you can open the Picture Dictionary. If you would like to use the image in your document, simply double click on the image and it will be inserted into your document. If you want to use the web dictionary, click here. Google will open with the definition. If you have read the web switched on, you just need to hover over the definition to have it read. The planet on which we live, the world, the diversity. Changing the dictionary settings. You can change how the dictionary works. To do this, click on settings, show more settings, show more, then dictionary. There is a choice of web dictionary. Just choose which one you want from this drop down. This switch turns the pop up dictionary off or on. Okay. So the next one we'll talk about is talk and type, which turns the spoken word into text. Let's watch. Talk and type converts the words that you speak into text in your document. Before you get started, make sure your microphone is in position and is working correctly. When you first click on talk and type, the voice training will open. This will help the software to become familiar with your voice and tone. To improve the accuracy of the talk and type function, it's a good idea to complete this. The more training that you do, the more accurate it will be. The first training includes tips for using talk and type. Once you have completed the training and you are ready to use talk and type, just click on the icon. This panel appears and shows that it is listening for you to speak. Simply speak and the text will be placed into the document. Changing the talk and type settings. There are some settings for talk and type that you might wish to personalize. To do this, click on settings. Show more settings. and then speech. Now scroll down to talk and type. If you want to train talk and type to be even more accurate, click here. If you open the speech recognition dictionary, you can add your own words or expressions. and record how you pronounce them. The microphone training takes you through an easy setup wizard to make sure your microphone is correctly placed and can hear you clearly. The last one we will review is Check It. And Check It reviews writing for incorrect grammar, spelling, capitalization, punctuation, verb tense, homophones, and more. Let's watch.
spell check. To spell check your document for spelling errors, click on the spell check. The spell check panel appears. You can move this panel anywhere on screen. The first spelling mistake is identified in red within the sentence here. And a list of possible corrections are suggested below. To have any of these suggestions read aloud, hover your mouse over it. Bronchitis. When you have selected the right word to solve the spelling mistake, click on change. If you have made the same mistake a number of times in your document, click on change all. This will then replace the spelling mistake with the correct word throughout your document. Finally, there is the option to ignore the spelling mistake if you don't want to change it. It is simply a case of working your way through the document, selecting the corrections as you go. When no further spelling mistakes are found, this message will be displayed. Changing the spell check settings. You can change how the spell check works. To do this, click on settings. Show more settings. Show more. Then spelling. Order suggestions by context is switched on. This means that the most likely correction will be at the top of the spell check panel when you use it. We recommend you keep this on. If you would like the read and write spell check to appear when you right click in Microsoft Word, switch this on. The list of suggested corrections was read just by hovering the mouse over them because this option is switched on. The spell check vocabulary list shows you all the vocabulary lists that are being used to help you with your spelling. If you study or work in science or medical areas, you would benefit from adding the science, medical, and biology vocabulary lists. Simply click in the boxes to add them. Okay, so let's talk about the software. So this software is free um, for students and faculty of UTA. So let's get a quick rundown of how to install this software. You're gonna click on the read and write today after you go to the link that's posted. Select Windows, select Read Write English. The file will download to the bottom of your screen if you're using Chrome. If you're using Firefox, it will be at the top of your screen. Let's give it a moment. Now we'll click on the downloaded file. And we will run this setup. We have to accept the agreement and this will start the install.
Once the software is installed, you will use your UTA credentials. And as you notice, your toolbar will be installed at the top of your screen. Are there any questions? This is our Q&A session.